Welcome back to this very special episode. Well, it's time now to meet our Rais himself, the ultimate superstar, Shah Rukh Khan. I will not say anything else because I know you guys are getting a little impatient to meet him. So let's take you there. Here we are with the man who needs no introduction, with the King Khan of Bollywood, Shah Rukh Khan. Shah Rukh, welcome to Zeke Next Season 6. Thank you very much, Priya. Thank you for having me on the show. Thank you. And I'm just forgive me, I'm going to be at a loss of words throughout because right now I'm having this fangirl moment and my heart is really dancing here and there. Thank you. You're kind. <laughs> okay, Sharuk. So, uh, Rice is finally releasing in three days from now. And uh, I know you, there's not much that we can see in the trailers. Of course, we can see Rice, you uh, in different shades. We can't really see all the shades. I'm sure there are many. But I want to know from in your personal life, which has been your most race moment? Um, you know, I, I mean, the whole um, ideology of the film or the character in race, at least in this context, is that um, you know, here's a person who stands up uh, for, uh, takes responsibility for his actions. I think I, I think that's a nice thing to do. Uh, you know, sometimes we are meted out uh, uh, situations and circumstances so happen that you kind of uh, not even wanting to uh, uh, have to shirk away from it because sometimes it's scary, sometimes it's extremely sad, sometimes it's just very, uh, uh, you know, un un ununderstandable, that you don't understand why this happened to me. So I think, yeah, w wherever the situation has been that I have taken the onus upon myself uh, without blaming anything else, anyone else, that look, this was th these are my actions and I'm going to uh, have to face the, uh, you know, the way the rest of the life is going to pan out. Uh, so there have been very many. I mean, it could be in a professional career where I've made a film and I took the decision, let's go ahead and uh, do this film because of X, Y, Z reasons as an actor, as a producer. may not have uh, fructified or become what I wanted it to become. And then you say, it's because of me and I need to uh, take uh, responsibility for it. Uh, so, Shah Rukh, tell me, you have done so many movies. You've been a good boy in most of them. You've been a bad boy in some of them. Uh, you've done so many other roles. Now you're diversifying into different genres. but. Despite doing so many different movies, do you still think that there is a role which has been your dream role or something that has haunted you for years now that, you know, I wish I could have done this? Um, not really, Priya. Actually, what happens is initially when you start off, you think of roles. Um, then as you progress as an actor, having worked for some years, you start thinking of characterization within those roles. And then you reach a stage where, like you said, I've done lots of films. For me, it doesn't remain specific anymore, you know. Uh, you're waiting for the director's vision and what he or she wants and say, look, I never thought of this, but as an actor, can, am I malleable enough to do this? Am I, uh, you know, good enough to try it? Or am I going to find out that maybe I should not have been able, to, I can't take out these reserves of emotions. So there's no specific role left, you know. Uh, but the nuances, their characters, their thoughts that I might have, uh, like, like fan was such, I mean, it's not a role that I could have thought of ever or devised for myself. But, you know, it had enough for me to think of as an actor that, look, this is going to be a director's vision and I want to try and give it my best shot. So is race, actually, to a large extent, you know. I've never thought of myself as a non-urban person or a person uh, amidst this whole smuggling, bootlegging situation. So it's interesting, you know. It's, uh, you, you, you just get to be excited by what other people's vision is about you as an actor. And I think that's more exciting than looking for and choosing or designing a role for yourself. So because these are like so many different things that are coming across your way. Now, there was Fan and then there was Dear Zindagi where you portrayed a very different kind of a role and now there's Race. And it's like in your acting career, you're kind of entering this golden phase where you're, you know, trying out different things now. So is it like a conscious effort from your side that you want to do very many different roles now? No, I've always thought, you know, given the parameters of commercial cinema, popular cinema, that you can try and still bring in some nuances of characters, you know. So I think initially also I've done, some may have done well, some may not have. Because, you know, when you become a commercial film star or a popular film star, there are going to be moments that, uh, you know, some of the people who like you like that may not like you in a more character-driven or a substance-driven film. Sometimes it happens, the mix is fantastic, like Chak De India or, you know, say My Name Is Khan or even to an extent Swades. But uh, Paheli didn't turn out to be the way I wish it would commercially. But I loved doing the film, it was nominated for Oscars. Uh, Ahsoka didn't turn out to be like that either. So there are many a slip between how you think and you want to do, and I've always done it. Uh, I'm asked this question recently more often, maybe because all these three films are coming on top of each other. But that's just coincidental, you know. I, I think Fan was supposed to come post Happy New Year. I'm uh, sorry, Race was supposed to come post Happy New Year. And then 
before Dilwale, right after Dilwale, fan was supposed to come, but both got delayed for different reasons. One because of injury, the other because of visual effects. So they have come on top of each other. But uh, as an actor, for me, it's more fun, you know, to do a completely popular genre. What I think is popular. I I, I can't do a completely popular genre. I I don't think I'm made like that as an actor or a star. Uh, it doesn't even suit me. Maybe I don't know. I I just get drawn to uh, Chennai Express for me is a popular genre. So you do a film like that and then mix it up with a fan or a race or a mix of both. Now this again is an attempt at trying to uh, please both kind of audiences because some subjects lend themselves to be like that and race is one of them. Right. Okay, so Dubai is really celebrating you. Uh, we've seen in Bollywood parks, at Arabian Centre where you were, there were lots of people waiting for you. Uh, tell me your experience of Bollywood parks. You haven't tried the Ravan ride. It's fantastic. Well, let me be honest. When I come to Dubai, it's like home away from home. There's so many people from all over the world, and you know they really uh, look after me. You know, I go shopping, people look after me. If I go to a dinner or a restaurant, they give me bookings out of turn. They're very sweet here in Dubai. So I, I, I'm genuinely through your show first. Thank you, Dubai, for always being so kind. And you know, when I come for film promotions, um, you know, I, I should say when I want to feel most love, it's really nice. Like I went to the Arabian Center or to the Bollywood parks and. Uh, that's something in making and, and uh, my son is with me. Uh, I have a couple of days with him because I'm trying to spend as much time with Abram as possible because in two months he'll start serious schooling. So then he won't be able to hang out with me. Uh, and he likes coming to Dubai. Uh, we have a house here so we want to spend time there. So it, it was really nice, you know. Uh, I don't know if he understands this, but to have your father in a gaming park, you know, in a park which has themes and rides, and to see him there must be quite a... Uh, different high for a child uh, so I felt really happy I was very very moved I was very like oh wow you know I've been to game parks I've been to theme parks and you, know, you like the rides and now you can take your children and say listen your dad's a ride and uh, I think Ravan one is ready Don should be ready and I hope I do a couple more films that I can have more rides <laughs> in Bollywood Park. Anything, anything you think uh, can become a ride which is not there, which Bollywood Park may I, be I don't lagging. know, I've been thinking about it. But having said that, there's some other wonderful rides. There's Krish, I think there's Salman's, I think uh, there's uh, Zindagi Na Mele Ki Dobara. I think they all seem to be nice. Unfortunately, I couldn't partake in all of them. But I'll, I'd, I'd like to come and, you know, come and spend some time in Bollywood parks. This is a great experience. Yeah. Yeah, so I'd just like to request you to say a few words to your fans, to our Z viewers. To all the viewers of uh, Z Connect, uh, thank you very much, uh, first to Priya for having me on the show. Thank you, Z Network itself for you know always uh, hanging on uh, together. And, and Z is releasing the film, so that's even nice. I don't know very many people know that or not. So thank you very much uh, for coming, calling me on the show. I've been saying it for a year. I'll say it again here on Z Connect. Arao.